This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2003 Ford F350 crew cab, dual rear wheel. Uh, it's 6 0 turbo diesel, it's four wheel drive, it's an XLT, which is cloth. Uh, this truck has 96,620 miles. It was a uh, dealer trade in to the Larry Miller Dodge Group here in Tucson. Uh, they can't sell anything on their uh, property with over on their used car property with over, that's over 10 years old or over 100,000 miles. This fits the 10,000 mile deal pretty well. So uh, they just can't get uh, lending for their buyers when they have, when they're over 10 years old. Uh, so that's why they sell them. And this is a nice, nice truck. Anyway, uh, we bring them in here. We do an inspection, and I tell you what we did to them. Um, first thing we we realized in our inspection was that at some point somebody put a, a, a new reman uh, Ford motor in this truck. So this is the second motor and it's only got low miles. So uh, at some point somebody decided to put a reman in and also we noticed there's a sticker on the uh, FICM, the fuel injection control module, which says that that is a rebuilt FICM uh, within a year of today. Um, as a result of it being such a nice truck, we decided we'd bulletproof it. So we took it uh, and did that. Uh, we did uh, bulletproof EGR cooler, Ford oil cooler uh, is new, ICP is new, IPR is new, new Rotella oil and filter and coolant. Uh, we also need to tell you there's no catalytic converter and you all know why, all right? Anyone who knows about diesel knows why. Um, if you're an Arizona buyer, we must install one in order to get you plates and get it through emissions. Uh, that'll add $375 to the price. If you're an out-of-state buyer and want us to put one on, add $375, let us know, we'll put one on. Um, uh, but different states, different countries, a lot of our vehicles leave the country. Um, so uh, they don't want cats. And so we don't put them on unless it's an Arizona buyer, but we tell everybody what we've got. Uh, part of our success, a large part of our success, is that we uh, uh, tell people exactly what's going on with the vehicle and don't leave anything out. 500 to 1,000 people a day will see this truck. Uh, there really is no upside in uh, BSing or telling people things that uh, aren't true and leaving stuff out. Um, there will be a person who likes the truck just the way we tell them it is. Um, on top of the uh, bulletproofing, it also got a new windshield and sway bar links, just so you know. Um, it does have a, a navigation unit in it also uh, that plays DVDs. Good looking truck. It's got a couple uh, touch up uh, scratches on that rear wheel flare on the passenger side I'll show you. But really, honestly, it's a really good looking truck. My brother's gonna take this thing out for 60 to 80 HD pictures. In that gallery, you'll see a little magnifying glass deal. Drag it over uh, the photo. When you, if you see a photo and you wanna see something up close, drag it over and uh, zoom in. Click on that and you zoom in. You can zoom in on this. See how this has been touched up? Somebody got too close to something backing up. This here, holding there. Put this up here. Up here. I'm going to start this truck up. Start it up. And I'm going to let it uh, warm up. 
XLT, this is the Kelly Blue Book. XLT, 96,000 miles, suggested retail price, 15.1. Now, mind you, that's 15.1 with them not knowing it's been bulletproofed. And if you look up in your neighborhood what it costs to bulletproof a truck, it's in range between four and $5,000 generally. Uh, at some point, Reman Motor and Fickman were installed. There's your uh, VIN, no accident damage. 5-15-17 was the date of this uh, Carfax. And it has an unbelievable Carfax. I'm not sure why it needed a motor. You know, I, I have no idea why it needed a motor. And I can't tell on this Carfax where it happened. It doesn't say. But uh, there's a sticker right on the valve cover on the passenger side that says it's a reman motor. Um, so the motor doesn't have as many miles as the truck and the truck has an unbelievably good Carfax. So I have no idea why or what happened or what, I, who knows. This <laughs> might be as stupid as uh, the previous owner might have put gas in it instead of uh, diesel. I see that quite often. It was a Larry Miller Dodge truck Clear title, Arizona title, and now it's uh, Wheel Kinetics right there. Okay. Anyway, uh, the title will be in the uh, ad. You can click on the Arizona title we have. You've seen the Kelly. You've seen the uh, Carfax. That's a nice pipe too. It's a nice truck. The sticker for the Reman is right back there. It in the ad. All right. Think, uh, there you go. Got an aftermarket market airbox on it. Let's see, we got a Ford stamp here. Got a Ford stamp here. There's a Ford stamp right there. There's not a Ford stamp on this fender because at some point somebody's repainted this fender. Replaced this fender and repainted it. There should be a Ford stamp there, but there's not. So if somebody replaced this, probably got a ding in it and replaced it. Um, and they did a great job because that paint is perfect. That's probably the best paint on the truck. All right. Window down, up, door locks. Works fine. Seats look great. We got a remote. Still in the wrapper. See, it looks like he might have been antisocial because it doesn't look like anyone's ever been back there. Window, 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 door locks, mirror out, in, down, up, other side, out, in, up, down, tilt wheel, works fine. Seat's in good shape here. That's up in here. All right, we got navigation on right there. We are definitely on the right street here. Let's see if we can go out a little bit here. I'm not even sure how to work this thing. Yeah, Gardner Lane. That's where we are. All right, let's change to radio. Uh, there we go. And volume. Welcome to the final show. Little Harry Styles there. 
Huh. I don't even know how to do that. There. Alright, we got a little plug here. Alright, let me get a seatbelt on. There's a uh, overdrive. Let's see what else we got. Let me put it in neutral. Put it into four low. Now we're in four low. See that? Drive. Oh yeah, that's a beast. Four low. There you go. All right. Let's see, now we're gonna go to four high. Now we're in four high, okay. All right, drive. Let me turn that radio down. I think you have to hold it down to make it go up and down. Clicking, it doesn't work, you gotta hold it. All right, reverse in four high, works perfect. All right, neutral, up to four, to two wheel drive. Let's go for a drive, all right. Come to Tucson and drive it home, you're gonna pay tax and dock fee. Tax is 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus your state tax rate. So, it's real simple. If you come here to drive it home, you're gonna pay your state tax rate, plus our city of 2%, plus the $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're gonna pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. Once we receive your uh, wire, if you're gonna ship, uh, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We'll sign it off to you, notarize it, scan it in your online file, and mail it to you. We'll even scan in the envelope we mail it in, okay? Uh, so you'll have that online immediately. And then you'll get it in the mail, and once you have the truck shipped to you, um, you will uh, take the truck and the title down to motor vehicles in your state and uh, get plates. This thing runs great. Sounds good, too. Um, let's see, what else? Deposit, deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal until it is for sale. Once we have a deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com and you'll know it's yours. This is a really nice bulletproof four wheel drive crew cab dually. It won't last long, get your deposit in. Um, the last part of this is the uh, warranty speech. If something breaks the day you get it, you're writing a check. There is some give and take here. Um, the give and take part of this thing is fairly simple. Um, we are selling this truck cheaper than anybody else would. We're telling you everything that's wrong with it that we know about it, and we're expecting you to take ownership, okay? We are not writing a check. If something breaks the day you get it, you're writing a check to fix it. We are not. If that's not okay with you, that's fine. There's plenty of people who understand these trucks, um, who understand what we're saying and accept it. Um, we say this at the end of every video. Uh, I'm not picking this truck. I'm not singling this truck out. If you watch all our videos on all of our trucks and cars, say the same thing. No warranty, okay? Um, we give you tons of information. We sell it at a price where if something breaks, you can afford to fix it. Um, and uh, honestly, I doubt this one's going to break. This is a hell of a nice truck. Uh, but if it does, that's what's going to happen, all right? Let's see. I think that's about it. Let's turn here. Got a little bit of time left in the video. This thing runs really good. That's a school zone. They got the school zone signs up. So I gotta slow down here. Anyway, this is a hell of a nice truck. Look what comes up here on the clock. Little mini mouse thing. It's kind of interesting. Anyway, please go through the ad. Make sure you know what you, what you need to know. If you don't know, you're not sure, please don't bid on the vehicle. Please don't make an offer. Um, we have plenty of people to sell these vehicles to. Uh, we'd rather have the right person than the wrong person. So, um, you know, if you don't understand 6 O's, do a little research, ask people about it. Tell people you've got a brand new bulletproof three-man motor in this truck, and they'll be impressed. Trust me. All right? Oh, that's it. Thank you for your time.